Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Rule the Waves 2, a strategy game which puts you in the shoes of a Grand Fleet Admiral in the time of great navies from 1900 until 1955. Uh, today we're returning to our Let's Play series as Italy. It is 1907. We've laid down our first dreadnoughts, but the rest of our fleet is starting to get a little bit long in the tooth, and we're in the process of trying to balance budgeting because we have four dreadnought class ships currently under construction but we have no feasible way to fund that level of construction uh, and so we'll have to kind of figure out what the right course of action is there in order to be able to maintain a balanced fleet while also modernizing into the dreadnought era. First off, guys, do want to apologize. Videos have been a little bit less regular in the last few days. Um, my wife had surgery, and there have been a few things that we've been kind of working through. Uh, so just an FYI, still here, still around. Uh, just been uh, kind of having some real-life stuff come up. So uh, all uh, by the bite, everything's great, but uh, just sort of that's explaining why things are a little bit different. All right, so with that being said, uh, we're starting this turn off with a negative balance of a 5 or a negative deficit negative deficit, that's redundant, a deficit of $5.9 million going into next turn. We only have 2.5 in the bank, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and halt these battleships of the Imperator class, uh, and we're going to let them stay halted uh, for three months until we get the battle cruisers and the battleships both at the same period uh, of their completion. They're both going to complete at the same time, uh, and we're going to do that in order to save some money. In addition to that, we're going to go ahead and halt one of the Butcher class's rebuilds uh, so that we can get our, uh, our budget up over uh, into the black. It's kind of nuts thinking about it, that our budget is so low. Our budget is lower now than just after the war, actually, right now. But that our budget is so low that we can't even afford to build two Dreadnought ships. That's crazy. Um, trying to think, like, can I... Uh, where can I save some money? I mean, I've got I've got some heavy cruisers, but I, I'd rather not scrap all of them. Those are going to be useful in a war still at this stage. Got a bunch of destroyers, got a bunch of submarines, but the, none of those are very expensive. I can't scrap submarines or anything like that, so I don't even know what to do here. Um, all right, so let's just go ahead and resume. I guess we're going to kind of keep on this pace for three more months. Counterintelligence believes Germany's stolen technology from us. Send a diplomatic note protesting. Meanwhile, I'm going to try and manage the tensions with England. England's the one country I do not want to go to war with, uh, so we are going to try and keep those tensions lower. Meanwhile, Finland has defeated Russia in its War of Independence, and the province of Finland is now independent from the nation of Russia. Okay... Moving forward. Why did the tension just go back up with England again? Private shipbuilding is increasing our dock size. That's great. France is hosting an international regatta. Uh, our crew's well-trained favorite to win. What should we do? Go for the win, man. We have, like, no tension or prestige issues with France. So we'll do that. You can see here we built the first level of tensions with France, which I'm fine with. I need a little bit more tensions. Unrest is low. Tensions are low. I need something to cause uh, cause countries to... Um, I mean, I, I need something to cause the military budget to go up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and resume these. It's going to put us back in the black. But we do have enough money in the bank for one turn at this rate. So we'll do that. A new cruiser from Great Britain just arrived on a goodwill vi visit. Um... Let's see. Certainly it's a nice ship, but ours are just as good. That's the best they got. I don't wanna I don't want to increase prestige. I'd rather increase budget. I mean I do want to increase prestige, but I don't want to increase tensions with Great Britain. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is admit our ships aren't as good. It'll get me more money, uh, and it'll also uh, hurt my prestige, but hopefully it gives it, again. Hopefully it causes the budget to go up a little bit. It did go up a little bit that turn, so we're going to go ahead and halt construction on two of these ships here for one more turn. Okay, weight savings. 
Gets our budget back into the black. Now we're going to go ahead and resume on the battle cruisers and halt on the battleships. Okay. Can we afford? We can. We can afford a month of everything building. Okay, some ASW technology research. Why did tensions just shoot up with Austria like that? That's weird. I mean, Austria is probably the one country I don't mind going to war with if we have to. Okay. Just kind of toggling these. These ships are going to take like five years to come into commission because we don't have money for them. All right, we're two years away from commissioning these ships. You know, the, the Blucher has had its uh, rearmament complete. We've researched four center line turrets for our design, uh, which is great. We could use another super firing uh, turret design. That would be ideal. Meanwhile, we can resume the construction on the Conti de Covor. So the Blucher and the Gilo, or Geo Cesare are both uh, redesigned or rebuilt. These are pre-dreadnought, quasi-dreadnought ships. They have 14 8-inch guns in turrets with four 12-inch guns, 20 knots, or sorry, 20,000 tons. They make 22 knots. Um, these are sort of the final version of our uh, pre-dreadnought ships. Uh, and once the other ones are complete or rebuilt, I guess, we'll probably just go ahead and uh, scrap the Italian battleships of the Italia class. We only have, let's see, uh, five pre-dreadnought battleships in service. Uh, most of the other countries dwarf us there. The British have 23, the French have 13, the Austrians have 5, the Russians have 11, the Germans have 10, the Americans have 14. But now the Dreadnought ships have started coming into commission. The th Dreadnought class, Britain has three. They're building four more. Uh, France is building one. Austria is building one. Russia is building one. Germany has already built one with two more on the way. And the United States is building four. Meanwhile, in the battle cr cruiser space, uh, Britain's not building any, which is interesting. France is building four. Austria-Hungary is building one. Russia, four. Germany, one. Uh, in service already with one more building and the United States building three. So we're going to have a relatively nice balanced fleet once ours come online, but that's still, what, just shy of two years away? So we'll have to see how that works out. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and scrap the Italia class. One, we get a little bit of money. And two, saves us a little bit of money, although not much because apparently they were all cheap anyway because they were mothballed uh, fifty thousand dollars has been collected by popular subscriptions to finance a new battleship if you don't build a new battleship you may become the focus of some displeasure great i'm really thrilled with the extra money i would prefer if it was allocated to wow that's a lot of money uh, I'd prefer if that money was allocated toward like cruisers or other ships which I could use new designs for, but we can build larger ships and new designs. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and design a new battleship, the 1908 Battleship class. Uh, we're going to go ahead and auto design initially. Uh, we can see here, this is still going mainly with wing turrets. I'd prefer not to do wing turrets. So... We'll do aft and forward. We'll do aft superimposed because we can design that. Can we do level three guns at all? Triple turrets not researched. What about quadruple turrets? Quadruple turrets not researched. All right, let's try so that's three centerline guns. Can we add a, f do we have anything else that's superimposed? No. So aft centerline V, is that designed? Why are the only turrets we have, why are our rear turrets the only turrets we have that can, can be superimposed? Um, let's 
see here. So we could do, oh, this is a weird design. I think this is the same design as what our battle cruiser has. Two wing turrets in the front um, with a superimposed in the back. So it at least saves us the weight of one extra turret. Um, the 12 inch quality zero has 5.7 at 14,000 yards and nine at 5,000. At 5,000, this is 9.2. This doesn't go out to 14,000 yards, though. So the 13 penetrates more, but has a shorter range. The 12 at 14 is 5.7 at, what is it, a 13? 5.9? Whereas the 13 inch is 6.3, 6, 6 7, 5, 2. I think the 13 inch is a better design. What's the um, current dreadnoughts that we're building? The Imperator class is all 13 inch. So I think we'll go 13 inch guns. I guess we'll go with the design. This auto filled the design we wanted. The aft superimposed, aft starboard, forward port. Okay. So we go with the 13 inch guns, 100 rounds of gun. We'll do three fire control positions. Um, secondary guns in turrets. Really? So it says we lack suitable training and elevation gear to put them in turrets. Huh. I don't really care. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to do 16 5 inch guns. We'll do 10 3 inch guns. Those will be in casemates. Actually, we'll do 14. So 14 3-inch guns, 16 5-inch guns, and then we've got the main battery of armor. Um, the... Oops, sorry about that. The belt armor should be 12 inches. The deck armor should be 3. The... Deck extended, I don't care about. The conning tower should be 12. The turrets should be 12. Turret top should be 3. Secondaries should be 3. And oh my god, this thing is going to be heavy. We were designing it 24 knots, but our other dreadnoughts only make 22. So we'll slow those down a little bit. We'll slow them down to 22 knots, which saves us a little bit of weight. We're going to make the accommodation normal, but we're going to make the ships short-ranged. That'll save some weight, too. Um, additional armament. There's no reason to have torpedoes on these ships, in my opinion. So we'll drop that. Is torpedo defense something we've researched yet? Isn't this a BB? No, apparently it was originally designed as a battle cruiser. Okay. Uh, TPS, so we haven't researched torpedo protection yet. Okay, so we won't do that. What about cramped accommodations? What's that save us? 14 versus 16. Um, 25,000 tons is the current displacement. We can go up to 26.5. So if we did that, we'd still be 1,000 tons overweight. Drop a fire control position. That saves a little bit of weight. Drop main gun ammo to... 90 rounds, that saves quite a bit of weight. Maybe we drop the secondaries and the tertiaries slightly. Okay. So it's all saving weight. Um... What else can we do? All right, we can probably drop the belt armor maybe to 11 and a half. Belt extended to three and a half. Decks at three, deck extended's one. Conning tower can be 11 and a half. Turret top really should be three. Secondaries could be two. Um. I want 
to keep engine priority normal because I want them to be able to move reliably. I mean, we could just go with 11 inch belt. The belt still feels feels a little bit light. Our own guns can't penetrate it though inside 5,000 yards, so that's a pretty reasonable belt armor, I think. Um, but in that case, let's add five rounds. Okay. We'll keep the turrets at 12. Eh. Eh. Secondary turrets at one and a half. All right, so we'll do 95 rounds, five uh, inch secondaries, 12 of them, 14 three inch tertiaries, and then we've got the 10 13 inch guns, uh, six of them on the center line, four of them not. So we've got a broadside of eight 13 inch guns still. They make 22 knots and they've got 11 inches of armor on the belt, 11 and a half in the conning tower, 12 in the turrets, three in the turret top, three in the deck armor. Uh, should be good against plunging shot, I think, um, out to quite a bit of range. And uh, this will be our Dreadnought class. And we'll call it, I don't know, what should we call it? We call the last one the Imperator. Uh, We'll call this one the Dominus. I'm thinking after the Dominate. So the Imperator is sort of from the Principate period of Roman history, and the Dominus is from sort of the later period of Roman history uh, after, uh, Di is it Diocletian who split the empire up and kind of had the different emperors and different parts of the empire. So that's what I'm thinking I'm naming it after, but we may be failing there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll save this. Uh, short range limited usefulness, that's fine. It's going to take four months to complete our design study. Hopefully that's not four months uh, too long. Like I don't want anybody to kind of wonder about uh, us failing to uh, meet the public's need for a new battleship. So we'll go ahead and spend those four months. Our technology sharing agreement with the U.S. has brought uh, whole construction benefits. Rebellion has broken out in the U.S. possession of Guam. U.S. government's offering to sell us the right of automatic range transmitter. We need that technology. It seems a reasonable price. Rebellion in Guam continues. They also want to sell us the right to improved subdivision for 3.5. Okay. And one more till the... The rebels in Guam have defeated U.S. forces. Guam has now declared independence. Nice. So Guam has broken away from the U.S. The Dominus uh, ship is ready for construction. So we will go ahead and lay down two of the Dominus class. It's going to be crazy expensive. 2.7 million per turn. But we'll lay them down anyway. It'll appease the folks who gave us $50 million to build the things. We don't even have, we won't, here's the problem though. We don't have anywhere near enough budget to complete anything that's currently building. So it definitely means we're going to be pausing some stuff. But we now have four battleships under construction, which will put us way far ahead of everybody else in terms of uh, dreadnought battleships, at least in the Mediterranean, with the exception of Great Britain. Um, Germany has more than us, uh, or will have more than us, but um, they're not in the um, they're not in the discussion really, because they're you know they're just not. Uh, and the U.S. is at uh, parity with us in terms of battle cruisers. There's a little bit more adoption there. France is building quite a few of them. Um, our total battleships and battle cruisers will outnumber them. Will dwarf the Austrians. Why is our budget so small? I know we're Italy and we're small, but still. People really love the battle cruisers, by the way. No one's building protected cruisers, which is interesting. I guess the battle cruiser does, or the armored cruiser, which I guess the battle cruiser does kind of replace it. But not in the way that battles seem to generate in game, I will say. All right, so we must have five battleships, battle cruisers, or battle cruiser, battleships, battle cruisers, or pre dreadnoughts building. That's okay, because we do. 
Industrial production is soaring as new methods and technologies are introduced. So I guess that means we get more money. Meanwhile, we're getting prestige because we're building the requested number of battleships. The British government wants to sell, for, sell us rights to improve ho hoists for $3.7 million. Seems reasonable. Um, also, light warfare research is, is going well, thanks to our partnership with the United States. The Prime Minister wants to hold an international naval gathering with a sailing regatta and competition. This will strengthen our international standing and lessen tensions, but to, the, the money to finance the event will be taken out of the Navy budget. Not a good time for such an event. The Navy supports this excellent initiative to foster international understanding. It'll drop tensions and increase prestige. So we'll do that. It does hurt our budget a little bit, but at the end of the day... Um, it is, the name of the game is obviously, uh, the name of the game at this stage is uh, winning the prestige war. We're the Italian secretary of the Navy. So obviously we want to, uh, you know, demonstrate uh, our, our grandness as a Italian fleet admiral. By the way, we laid these battleships down in like 1902 or no, 1904. It's been like three years and they're still not done yet. What, what's the design on this? What year did we design this ship? The Dominus was designed in 1908, the Imperator in 1906. Okay, so it's only been two years, but another year and a half still before they're completed. We're going to go ahead and pause these four ships for two months. It's going to get our budget back in line, and it's going to let us get closer to completing uh, the Butcher class rebuild. Once that's done, then we can resume the other ones. Cross deck fire, okay. Naval guns researched, 14 inch. Great, of course, just as I build these new battleships, we, we develop 14 inch guns. Let's go one more month till the butcher's complete. Hey, we just researched triple turrets. Again, now that I've uh, just laid down some new battleship designs, because that's great. And I can't rebuild a bigger turret. You can rebuild ships with smaller turrets, but you can't rebuild with bigger turrets. Are our cruisers out of date yet? They're going to be. Uh, the Katana class has eight 5-inch guns, 23 knots, 4,800 tons. These have 12 5-inch guns, 21 knots, 3,800 tons. Meanwhile, we do have the Kozari class destroyers. I don't know why I didn't build them as short-ranged. Let's go ahead and scrap these light cruisers. Well, that won't save us very much money. All right, so all of the other pre-dreadnoughts have been scrapped. Just the Butcher, the Contacarvor, and the uh, Geo Caesare. Um... All right, I guess we'll just proceed as is. Maybe we scrap some of these subs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're going to scrap half of our sub fleet, mainly because they're obsolete. doesn't really save us much money, though. New fire control. Jeez. Oh, Lots of stuff. TNT bursting charges. Destroyer screen is a new technology or a new tactic developed. Um, so the only ships we have during construction are our six battleships, of which we're still 15, 15, 15 months away and 28 months away, respectively. I need more money! I don't do well with a limited budget, apparently. Um... We'll scrap five more destroyers. And you know what? Let's just scrap the entire turbine class. That brings our destroyer flotilla down to 22, which gives us the smallest destroyer fleet of anybody. Our subfleet is still one of the biggest, although the, the downsizing did hurt. And 
we're going to go ahead and mothball the Marco Polo class. All these reserve fleet items are going to be mothballed. The Sonic class is all going to be switched to reserve fleet. Not that you save much money from destroyers. We're not even doing any intelligence. I don't... I don't even know. All right. So... That gives us at least one more month of our current spending. More than half the fleet's total tonnage is in mothballs. All right, maybe unmothballing, putting these guys in the reserve fleet will help the prime minister. It does. Um, so we got one more month under our belts. Jeez. How am I going to balance this budget? I guess we'll go ahead and we'll uh, pause the newer dreadnoughts temporarily. That should get us in better shape financially. The Prime Minister has made an ill-considered statement about the USA. What is your response when asked by journalist? Quote was taken out of context. It gives me more money but hurts my prestige. Don't comment on policy issues. Agree wholeheartedly with the Prime Minister. Our technology sharing agreement with the United States is helping in some ways, but I wonder if that gets canceled due to our increasing tensions with America. That did increase our budget, though, which is nice. Diesel engines for our submarines were just developed. Great Britain is manufacturing 16 inch guns. Good God. Oil firing from Germany? No, I don't. I can't afford to spend the money. The British government wants to sell us improved weight control. I I can't afford it. German convention wants to sell us the right to light con light cruiser armor configuration for four million. Yeah, I do think we need that. Our science now have a grasp of light cruiser armor configuration enables light cruiser armor configuration. We also just developed oil firing on our own. So that's good. We also just developed torpedo tech er, protection level one. A hawkish government wants to raise armament expenditures. What's your reaction? Excellent. This will ensure safety of our nation. A strong Navy is the guarantee of peace, but it must be coupled with a careful diplomacy. So, we should, no, we'll go with great. Weight control, torpedo protection one. All right, so we just bumped tensions up, but it's not too worrying. And actually, our budget is massively greater than it was. So, can we, we can, we can afford to resume both of them for one month. Okay, technology sharing agreement with the U.S. has expired. Krupp Cement uh, research technology gives us better um, armor schemes. I'd really like to get these dreadnoughts completed. Superimposed B turret on ships. Okay, so that means we now have a new technology that we can research new ships for. What is the super B? What is the the B turret here? Is that a forward turret? I sure hope so. Add turret B forward superimposed. Yes. Okay. So now we can finally design the traditional uh, battleship design. We can design forward, forward superimposed, aft, and aft superimposed. And so that gives us these this layout, and with our triple turret research, we can now basically build World War II lay, layout battleships um, with the triple turret in the fore and four turrets and the triple turret in the rear and four turrets. 
So that is all legal now for us to do. Challenge will probably be weight. Um, we could also build 14 inch guns. They're negative one, but they penetrate almost 10 inches at 5,000 and over six out to 16,000. So these guns are gonna be more effective. So if we were to say, let's max out our ship building, what would our armor belt look like? The armor belt would probably have to be pretty limited. Conning tower, I mean like, we're talking, we'd probably be better suited to build a new battle cruiser with this type of a layout, honestly. I mean, I could I could probably see us like if we if we did an auto design on the battle cruiser and we did that. I don't want to do aft center line. I just want to do aft superimposed. So we could probably manage something like this. Like if we made it 26 knots. I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing here. Why is this so? Why is the weight issue so strong here? Wait, we can do diesel firing? I mean, coal saves a little bit of weight, but not much. Oh, the secondary armor, it's ridiculous. Huh. I'm not really sure. But we could build a battle cruiser, probably. We just, we do need some better, need some better designs. We don't have the money for this right now, anyway. So 1910, by the way, we're the only country, Austria as well, without any dreadnoughts in service yet. Our, our cruisers are starting to get obsolete, I think. Yep, we've got the O next to the Marco Polos. One of our cruisers has run aground on the shore of a minor nation. Demand the release the ship and send a strong squadron to, under, to underline the point. Offer sincere apology. Let them examine the ship, even if it risks exposing sensitive technology. They need to return the ship. Oh, God. We're, we're on the verge of war with both Britain and Austria. National production is going up. A new cruiser from the U.S. has just arrived on a goodwill voyage. We can get more money if we criticize the politicians, so we'll do that. We'll go ahead and resume these ships. I wish, the one thing I'm frustrated about is like, if I want to accelerate construction on ships, all it does is it makes a two month in, uh, improvement and it gives you a large cost imp or cost overrun and it only gets you the ship two months faster. So it's not like you really get anything all that much quicker uh, by accelerating construction and it just in general feels kind of um, not worth it in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and halt these. I want them all to commission at the same time. So we'll go ahead and resume these. We have a whole bunch of money now, by the way. German government's offering to sell us right to the contra rolling propellers. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is, but okay. I guess they're torpedo technology, so that's great. The time bomb is commissioned into the Navy. The Roma is commissioned into the Navy. It is found that the ship is somewhat overweight. Great. New Naval Secretary has read a book on naval strategy, extolling cruiser warfare. He wants you to build at least 10 additional cruisers. I thought I'm the Naval Secretary. Of course, sir. You give me money, I will build you cruisers. The request from the Naval Secretary came at the perfect time, is all I will say, because we have three, two battleships and a battle cruiser, all which just commissioned at the same time. Meanwhile, the Imperator might be slightly overweight, but it is still meeting its design speed, so that's good. I don't know what an overweight ship does to your uh, capabilities or anything. 
With that being said, before we go, let's go ahead and design a new cruiser then. If we're extolling light cruisers, let's go ahead and auto design a light cruiser design. That does not look like a light cruiser. Armament, protector cruiser, slope deck, flat deck on top of belt. So it looks like slope deck is our, is our design. Is this really the best design? Can we not do like center line super firing turrets on cruisers yet? Like if we were to clear all turrets and we were to add forward, forward center line, aft center line and aft, and we were to do triple turrets, could we do that? Not research double or triple turreted light cruiser turrets. Main guns less than nine inch caliber without reliable training gear. Um, okay, so we can't do that design. So we'll just do an auto design of the light cruiser. We'll try and make it somewhat affordable. 28 knots, I think, is a good speed for it. Uh, Two and a half belt, maybe. I don't know why we'd need more than two inches on deck for a light cruiser. Plunging shot will be an issue, but it'll be an issue for any large ship. Turrets, two and a half. Secondaries at one and a half. Turret top, one and a half. So that's fine. Um, maybe two. We'll make it... That's not the right ship graphic. All right, so let's do this. Forward, aft, we got that. And then we'll just do um, wings. We'll just do all the wings. All the wings. We must do all of them. Oh, God. We can't do... I'd love... That would be nuts if it was all, like, triple, triple turreted, all these wing turrets on a light cruiser, but that'll never happen. All right, so... I don't know if there's a manual way to go faster about this. Okay. I love the idea of the six inch gun. Let's see here. Overweight. Okay, that's fine. So it's overweight, but this will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, twelve guns with a broadside of three, five, seven. So broadside of seven with twelve guns. Six inch guns, because I think those are a good happy medium for light cruisers. Um, 140 rounds a gun. Uh, the secondaries, I think we'll drop them down to threes to save a little bit of weight. And we'll have 12 of those as well in single turrets. Obviously no tertiaries. Uh, speed 28 knots, uh, additional armament. Let's add all the torpedo tubes we can. So we'll add the four there. And what's the two and a half? So two and a half at 10,000 can't do that. Can't penetrate more than two and a half. The armor would be very weak. It would be very much not protected in any way. Uh, medium range. 28 knots. 28 knots doesn't seem too fast. But 1,500 behind in terms of weight. And this needs the, this needs the ability to uh, do commerce rating. Um... Maybe if we drop the belt to two. I don't know why you have a two inch deck armor. What's the deck penetration? None of this penetrates deck. Honestly, we'll just do one and a half with deck. Turrets two and a half. Turret top will do one and a half. Secondaries will do one. 
Honestly, I'm fine with, like, gun shields for the secondaries. How big does this thing have to be? 8,000 tons. These aren't light cruisers if they're 8,000 tons. I'd like to get it at least down to 7. 7,000 tons. Maybe 6,500 tons. I don't know. Um, I guess we could cut some of the some of the turrets here. Maybe port forward, port midship. We'll drop the midship turrets. Port and starboard midships will drop. We'll save a little bit of weight. 135 shells, 130 shells maybe saves a little bit more weight. Um, 10 three inchers saves a little bit more weight. And I mean, obviously, speed is a way to save a huge amount of weight. Why are these things so slow? Or you don't even need an inch of deck armor, to be honest. Okay. Let's save. All right, so 6,900 tons. She's about 2,000 tons larger than our last protected cruiser, uh, but she's still about 2,000 or 3,000 tons lighter than our heavy cruisers, than our armored cruisers. And I think this is going to be the design. We're going to name this the Tortuga uh, class, which is named after Tortuga Power, the uh, preeminent uh, Rule the Waves Let's Player. And this looks good. It's going to take two months and $2 million. We'll save up our money during those two months so we can lay down the 10 light cruisers. Meanwhile, the Lepanto, the battle cruiser, completes. And that gives us a lot more money to play with. The prime minister's made foreign policy gaffe. You're asked to smooth things over uh, by the naval secretary. I would never presume to undercut the prime minister. I'd agree to make a bland statement diluting the effect. Divert attention by making a statement criticizing the adventurous foreign policy of who? Um, we'll say, f well, we can't do France. We can do Great Britain, Austria, Hungary, or Germany. Austria, Hungary would probably start a war, I think. Yeah. All right, I'd never presume to, to judge. Our scientists expect promising results from the new research area, naval aviation lighter than air. All right, so the Tortuga, we need 10 light cruisers. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, that is gonna be expensive, but we're building 10 of them. And immediately we're into the, we're into the red. Our yearly budget, by the way, is huge. It's a hundred million more than it was just a, like a year ago in game. Uh, but we now have ten light cruisers building, and we have two battleships. Honestly, we probably need some new destroyers too. Probably need ten new destroyers. So we'll just auto design. I don't really care about forward centerline turrets. For we'll just have one four, one aft. We do, have we, we have not learned multi centerline turrets yet, have we? 700 tons is still the max weight that we can put on a destroyer. What are our current destroyers? 700 tons. Let's just build more of those. Corserie, the design is four years old, but honestly, like if we, if we go and we open design for rebuild, I mean, place machinery we can't increase speed probably increase gamma uh, ammo content that's about it so i can't really build a better destroyer than the one we already have so i'm gonna go ahead and build 10 more of those things actually we'll do i think we're at 22 so let's do eight it'll bring us up to 30 so we're building eight destroyers 10 light cruisers two battleships our current fleet consists of two battleships and two battle cruisers. The two battleships puts us fourth behind Great Britain, 
Germany and the United States in terms of battleships and commission. Uh, we will be behind Russia when they complete their stuff and France. So we'll slide even further back. We have two battle cruisers, which are way behind France, which has four. Uh, and then Austria-Hungary's got one in service, building three more. So we're a little bit behind there. Honestly, I like the idea of designing a new battle cruiser to bring us up to four of those as well. I like the idea of a symmetrical fleet. Four battleships, four battle cruisers is sort of my ideal. Um, delete that. Super firing. I like the idea of something like this ship. 26 knots would be my desire because I think that's as fast as my current battle cruiser goes. But we'll have to figure that out. We'll probably design a new battle cruiser at the start of our next episode. Um, we have the two time bombs, which can make 26 knots. We have the battleships, which all can make 22 knots. We probably need a slightly larger dockyard, so we'll spend 3.2 million expanding that. And then we'll just pass one turn. Our battleships are finished working up. During maneuvers, one of our ships opened firing a fishing boat from the United States. The boat was in a restricted area. I don't want to lose prestige, so we'll do that. Okay. So tensions are creeping up across the board. The problem if I end up in a war right now is it'll probably end up being against Great Britain and Austria and maybe even the U.S. With tensions this high with everybody, it's something you got to be really careful of. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we've got just we've got about nine months worth of money at our current rate. Uh, the destroyers will start coming online in about ten months, so that's good. The light cruisers will actually start coming online at about the same time as the battleships. So Italian shipbuilding industries are churning along, and uh, it's September of 1910, uh, we're building new docks. I guess we'll see if we can move forward a couple more months. There's been an uprising in an African country, the focus of great colonial ambitions. We need to send a force to evacuate our nationals and protect our interests. We should send an expeditionary force. If we send a battleship, tensions go up, prestige goes way up, budget goes up. A cruiser causes... Oh, God. Everything causes tensions to go up? I'll just send a gunboat. Oh, God. We're going to go to war with Great Britain and Austria. I really don't want to do that. At least let me get to 1911. The Prime Minister wants battleships to increase our national prestige. He wants me to build three more? Oh, boy. I can't. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not going to go to war yet. I'm not going to do that. Private shipbuilding. I'm receiving much praise for building the required number of cruisers. Nine-inch gun quality, one. And we're just going to get to 1911. The Prime Minister wants to reduce uh, finance for the Navy to build a palace of luxurious yacht. Of course. Anything for prestige, sir. I will lick your boots. All right, we're into January of 1911. The situation, the strategic situation remains largely unresol unresolved. Tensions with Great Britain have dropped a little bit. Austria, they're still very high with. Uh, Austria is the one country that we can afford to fight. We've already fought them once, uh, but Austria is the one country that we can seemingly have an advantage against from a battleship perspective, at least in terms of dreadnoughts and battle cruisers. They have more regular battleships than us, but the pre-dreadnoughts are kind of obsolete by this stage. They also have more uh, armored cruisers than us, but again, those are kind of obsolete at this stage. Uh, the light cruisers, uh, we will have a massive advantage when our new light cruisers come online, although we'll probably scrap some of our existings to save a little bit of money. And uh, we actually are about on par with them with destroyers too. So there are one rival that we can kind of keep up with. We are into 1911, so we're very close to sort of the historical World War I period. Um, we also are starting to expand our dock size. We're up to 27.5 in terms of uh, the tonnage that our docks support. Um, that actually still has us behind France and Germany. We can't see what anybody else has because tensions are too high with Great Britain or Austria to build in their docks. So we are falling behind in the dockyard capabilities. Um, additionally, research has come online for naval aviation, lighter than air. We're not putting a lot of emphasis behind that yet. Uh, probably something we should do. 
Uh, naval guns, we've researched level 14 guns, negative one, and we also improved our, our nine inch guns as well. I don't think I have any ships currently in service that use the nine inch. I think they all use the eight. Any of them that use that caliber anyway, the, the heavy cruiser caliber. Um, so that's kind of the situation right now. We've, uh, could probably afford to moth or to reserve fleet the three pre dreadnought classes now. Uh, under the or the three pre dreadnought ships under the Blucher class, uh, that'll save a little bit of money. Uh, gives us about three more months of income. Where did all my money go, by the way? I thought I had enough till like these destroyers completed. But uh, yeah, that's the situation right now. High tensions, high naval budget, high levels of construction across the board. Italian shipyards are churning, and uh, that's going to conclude this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I will catch you guys on the flip side uh, next time. Until next time, though, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.